C'est ici, Louise, on sélectionnait des plantes euh, qui ont des, des propriétés euh, aromatiques et, euh, et de bienfaits là, pour le cheveu là, et la peau. Louise has known Philip since he was young. They've known each other for a very long time. She's seen Philip grow up, so it's wonderful to have her presence and her knowledge. She's an authority figure in the native and indigenous plants of Quebec. And so to have her a part of our team as a resource has been a real gift. I have so much to learn from her. Un autre 50. Un autre 50. C'est sûr que de développer un produit à base de vinaigre de cidre demande de, beaucoup de, de, de synergie pour en arriver à quelque chose qui est agréable. It's a very old remedy. It's been used for centuries. It's great for your scalp. It's a pH balancer as well. It fortifies the hair. It rejuvenates the hair. Though there's always the challenge with the smell. Not everybody wants to have apple cider vinegar in their shower. <laughs> So we've taken certain plants, we've infused it in the apple cider vinegar to see how they blend together and how the apple cider vinegar smell can be transformed into more of an infusion with the plant. We have measured the quantity of plant that we want macerated in the uh, apple cider vinegar and we're going to let it sit for the time that it needs to sit. We're going to search all the aromas. Yes. It was our challenge de trouver des plantes qui neutralisent l'effet du vinaigre. Ça a été très intéressant. On a essayé plein, plein, plein de plantes. We'll take we'll put it Everything's in line for it to work, so we can't accept that it's not going to work. You know? It's one of those things like, this has got to work.